And welcome to Face Right Justice for All, day 10 of your channel. We. Uh, oh, come on. Why is this happening again? Of course, after I freaking. Sorry. Something that should not be freaking still making sounds is still making sounds. To make sounds out of it all. Watch right, second, five, twenty four. Is there is the first court day of uh, court? Couldn't get a verdict. Can only hope. My is safe. Watch right, second, five, five, twenty four p.m. Brain company law offices. Mr. Kamaya, Mr. Kamaya. Uh, pearls. I, I can't take it anymore. Look, it'll be alright. Uh, everything may still work out. Mm -hmm. This was that we had to get a not guilty for so far the kidnappers. This was hard as it hurt Maya. You know, because Mr. Ngard has been given a guilty sentence yet. <laughs> Cheer up, we don't have time to stay in the crying. We have to get going. You're right. Mr. Kamaya is a much pain than, more pain than I am, that's right, so. Hey, you guys. I'm glad I caught you, pal. I'm Mr. Scrappy Detective. Oh boy, looks like Detective Gumshoe. That's been dubbed Mr. Scrappy Detective of Pearl's book now. It's playing on Mr. Dick Gumshoe now. I came to talk to you, pal. I'm kind of busy right now. Look, it's my attorney's bitch. Oh, it's just a little attorney's, don't you think? Well, don't worry, I'll make it all shiny, sparkly shiny again. I'm really touched. Should we take a look at... Uh... Read anything from the kidnapper? No, oh, not yet. I'm sure once he hears what happened to the trial day, he'll call a pal. Or you can't provoke him when you get to talk to him. See what you say. I saw that button. I thought to myself, this is the gun approved and got guilty. Looks like there's a lot more than I thought, huh, pal? You probably should know better than to say something like that. I'm not a cop anymore. I'm right to try a little helper around the office now, so. I'm just working down at the precinct. I thought this night meant Mr. Guard used to eat dinner with steak with gone that would be stabbed in the victim's body by Miss Andrews of all people. I guess she's attached to the victim's hated the victim that much, huh, pal? Question is why she hated the victim to that extent for rather why she tried to pin the her and Mr. Guard. I wonder if she really hates Mr. Guard. This is a nickel samurai, was this really Miss Andrews, huh? Yeah, it's either when she went to the guard's room to get the knife, or when she was done with the foul deed. I guess we'll never know. Oh, okay, you'll see her again, little Missy. Yeah. So important that you don't give up. Okay. This big voice really does give a sense of presence. I won't give up ever. Cheer up. You can't give in, Missy. Yeah, hey, hey, I know. I'll show you something really cool. How's this? A general pistol. I, I don't have my pistol or my police badge anymore. Cheer up. You can give in. Yeah. What's it doing? I feel jealous of my rough, really cool detective look, pal. 
Because I looked at, I passed the detective test, you know. Oh? If people can't coast to life on their looks alone, pal. Yeah, you can't count on your looks alone. Well, wow, that's something new today. Is she right? After being shot, I mean, her wound isn't that bad. Well, the guy's not wound anyway. The winter of pride? Now that's a different story, pal. The winter of pride? Oh, well, until now, she's always upheld the fine karma creed, but since he came here, well, you giving our pride a credit of being, pal. Oh, I mean, I mean she's acting all grown up, but she's really just still just 18 year old. And finally, I worry about her, pal. Yeah, it's the first time I've seen the side of Mr. Edgeworth, pal. First, people say what he wants them to, to during trial. I don't know what no, what well, happened to him all the time he's been gone. I don't have access to or anything, but I know one career that man got her. Oh, he was always just trying to be. I said her was totally changed, pal. So, where is she right now? She'll be questioned down at the precinct. At least about mess. Messing with the body and obstructing the investigation, she's probably staying overnight over detention. Just say, huh? What are you gonna do now? For now, on? what do you mean, pal? You've been fired, right? So, you, do you have a new job lined up? Okay, uh, uh, what am I supposed to do now, pal? Everything coming in at all until my next payday. What are you talking about? You have another payday. That means I'm just gonna have to work here at your place, pal. Say what? We'll be searching for things to prove the sun guards is an old day, right? Oh yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna help you, pal. Lots of spirits in investigating and watching over full spaces. I'm gonna make a really good simple meals, pal. I'll take care of it. Come on, Mr. Nick. Mr. Crafty Detective, take care of things. Uh, okay, by the way, what's your best dish? It's a nose, pal. I'm sure people will really only eat cheap and healthy food. First time I've seen this Edward act like it. Never thought I'd see something like he didn't care if Mr. Andrews killed himself. She said that? That's horrible. Because of him doing that, he got the truth filing it. Truth? Mr. Andrews' last testimony went up. That was the truth. I'll give, I'll give you that. There was nothing strange in that testimony itself, but I don't think there's a fundamental wrong with the whole thing. I mean, that thing, pal? You know, why would she want to know? I mean, almost need to frame Mr. Darn Guard. I could forget that from anything she said at all. You're saying that testimony was a lie? Not a lie per se, it just feels like there's more here than meets the eye. Transformers. It's right what I like us to believe. It's such a dirty trick. I'm prosecutor's better than that. Fr Francesca von Karma. Ms. von Karma, do you have any more information on the condition? Was she shot this morning? Yeah, we well, trial by a pistol, pal. It's gonna be fine, right? I mean, Edward said she was in stable condition, but she's not in the shoulder, so she's okay and staying. Should be taking care of bullets, so probably resting at the hospital. Which one? Why do you get a visit her, pal? No, well, I, I was kind of thinking about it. it. You actually kind of hurt, don't you? It's looking like she was being tortured to death, not being able to go to the trial today. It's good for her if you went and let her whip you a bit, pal. Let, let's go, let her whip us, Nick. No, I'm definitely not going. Um, what's the uh, the name of the hospital? Uh, oh, yeah. The Hotel Clinic. Oh, great. And then he gives me chills down. And he says a chill down my spine. Guess I can't have to stop by and say hi. March 22nd, OT Clinic Reception. 
I thought I'd never come back to this place. Are you here uh, uh, to visit a patient? And uh, wait a second, you're. Uh, yes, I'm the doctor. How they have? Why are you still here? Yes, what is it? Uh, um, can I help you? Can you, you can tell me? Uh, yes. Director Hote. It's worth. Uh, yes, I'm Dr. Hote. Uh, 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 you're the man from the morning. Uh, yes, it's, what is it? Uh, uh. Director Funza. I think I'm going to come. How is she? Uh, you don't need to worry. Uh, I guess she's a good answer. You see, I'm personally taking good care of her. Uh, yes, 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 uh, yes. Uh, that the thing, the surgery, you want all uh, You have my gratitude. Since what doesn't know about this doctor in the secret, he's actually not the real doctor. The pivotal, I was terrified. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, if I say yes, uh, her opponent was a gun after all. Uh, uh, when I stuck up on her real secret like she would scream really loud. Hey, yes. I see you. She's really cute too, and I do that, she'd whip me with her whip, uh, Boy, did I cry like a baby, yes, I think I used it, yeah. Ha ha ha! Go back to your room. You're so mean, I, I'm so mean, my frisky Francesca. Ah! Okay, okay, I, I um, uh, yes, it's time for my job, dang, yes. What are these tulips doing in your hands, Mr. Wright? I know I shouldn't have come here. A shot in front of the courthouse in my right shoulder. Huh, but it's no big deal. This sort of thing happens all the time. I haven't had full attention of running the, the trial this morning. But, but that would have been too much for you. There's no need to act tough in front of us, you know. Girls are dragged here by, my, by that man over there. You're so unyielding. One of the I wonder if he's simply interested in stealing my case. The only logical action, course of action, given the bullet was dislodging his shoulder. I take over the case. I found myself having to clean up after you and that responsible deal you made. I think I know what deal he's referring to. Fun karma. You had to have a Sandra's yesterday, didn't you? I know what you mean. I'll make sure you got guilty for it. I missed on guard. You told Miss Andrews not did not testify in court today. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you have such proof that I made such a deal? You're denying it? Looks like you were lucky, Mr. Feast, right? If I'd been a court today, this trial would have been already be over. Oh well hiding Miss Andrews' own crime. Is my problem? Was she tempered with evidence or not? I have only one objective. To find and guard a guilty or murderer. It justifies the mean, Mr. Phoenix, right? The end justifies the mean. It's fine, Karma. If your answer is believe, you, believed you when you said if you don't tell the truth of what really happened, then it, the guard will be found guilty. Does that have to do with me? So that she is now in danger of being found guilty herself. I'm going to she believed in your words until the very end. That's still nothing to deal with me. She's just a weak person, that's all. We had to know she was. Ow! That no, was a hero at battle over, so if you excuse me. What's wrong? What did she suddenly cut you off? Oh, because she thinks that I had an advantage in that argument. Oh, hey, it's worth. Today's trial, Dad was not like it all. I mean, I know you knew about Andrew's condition, but you could have made her testify as many times as you wanted to, but go that far. She wouldn't testify about that until I said something. Listen, right, the court was a garden's judgment. I'm putting myself on the line when I stand in there. That's why I made the witness do the same. It's only natural. Wait, it's what? Of course, that's rare for you. 
When this occurred, give it to me, Yuri. Do you have any idea what you have stupidly yet inadvertently done? This, this, I can't believe you did this for me all the time. That card. What in the world is it? I mean this? Listen, right? This is top secret information. You absolutely cannot link this. Press the face against the team as a number system for a number of years, but you know. I understand. Test to find is the owner of this card. Man called Shelly the Killer. This is his name states. He's a killer and assassin, the best at that. Assassin? So this is Shelly the Killer. The killer is the name of the long thing a lot of assassins. Standing? Name first appeared in about 100 years ago here. So it's the professional name of the third hair to the, the killer name. So the professional official name is Shelly. You leave a card with Shell on them. Have to make sure you to leave a card by the body of his victims. Why would he do something like that? It's part of his duty to his clients. <laughs> his duty? He leaves a card and his clients can be assured it was he who killed the victim. Also serves as insurance against any charges being pushed on the clients. I see. The killer values the trust between the client and himself above all. Seems as this was one of the horrible assassins with the moral conscience. I think even a horrible assassin can exist. You think the assassin? You think the assassin's the one who did the killing in this case? It would appear that that way. Discovery card basically confirms it when you agree. Shall they kill her, huh? I know something at the trial today. You were behaving in a very strange manner. Or something in the manner. Guess I said to tell him. Maya, she's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? What the killer want? An acquittal. I see, I had no idea. Let's get team as soon as possible and resolve this by tomorrow. Really? Do you Mr. Nick? Miss Angela was gonna. I counsel me, Edward. I don't need your pity, Mr. Nick. No way you can find her. We don't even have a single lead to go on. There's only one way to save her. I gotta quell somehow. It's the only way. All right, listen, you need to know something. One creator was killed by Shelly the killer. A client that wears a job is man on guard. Your own client. Please stop. I can't listen. I can't believe it. I see. You need advice case you will need this. What is it? The hotel right now is restricted to the police personnel only. So we're looking for the clues that might lead to us to the killer. The killer. You take this. You with the um, hotel. I'm sure they will let you in. In our saving. In any case, I must attend the pre preparation for Maya's rescue team. I mean, again, if anything ha should happen. If you excuse me. Mr. Nick? Is the guard hiding the assassin? No way! Isn't there a psych lock? I guess not. Maya, please, all I ask is you to make a home safe and sound. Here, I guess even the kidnappers can be a little clumsy. So have to drop a card like this for me. They said he was an assassin. We're just making it up. I like how Nick does it with everything in core. Well, let's try it out the card trick with this card I just found. Looks like I got the door open. Okay, time to go. Take a look around. What is this place? I feel I'm not in a hotel anymore. There's fears over there? I'll worry about that later. For now, I should be looking for clues. Or I could show them a some to sit and maybe get out of here. 
What is this thing? An antenna, I guess? This is a VCR? It's a lot of trunk gadgets here. What's the antenna doing here? There's a framed picture of sitting on the coffee table. Picture of a woman, she's kind of pretty. It looks like something right in here. Let's see. It says, with love, Celeste. But this could be a clue. Wait, what's a figure green doing on a sofa in a place like this? I guess a bear. Oh, how cute. But it's got a lot of cuts and stitches on it. Or some kind of puzzle or something. Locked, of course. Look, like I can use the car to open the store. A little hole in the bottom of the door. I was a little skinny, maybe I'd be able to crawl through there. Oh, this is simply one more. Simply one not though. I, I can have you wander around that wheel. Eee! It seems uh, that you're Mr. Wright. It's really concerned about you. Yes? Now I would suggest you remain cooperative. Uh, we cannot, there are ways in which I can help you. What does he mean? Dead man tell no tales is how the thing goes, correct? Dead? I'm certain I told you the first being. I'm an assassin. Uh, no way, you're lying. I mean, you're an assassin? But I don't know who they appear to be. Nick! Oh my. Uh, Nick. Oh yeah, pearls. I caught up on my thoughts about my situation. Which has what's just left, you know. I guess for now I have no choice but to believe in the darn guard. I think I should listen to the story one more time. Alright, let's get going too. Okay. Twenty second detention center for the room. Sorry, but visiting hours are over for today. Aw. Ugh. I have too many questions I need to ask. Sorry, but I'm Phoenix Wright, lawyer for one of the... Remember, it's alright. Alright, it's a... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, there's a message for you. Message? Man and guards, uh, here you are. What are you right? Is it something really important? I don't know. Well, Let's see what it's say. It's say, Mr. Lloyd, dude, got something really pointing to tell you. I feel uneasy, old son. It's alright, uh, so actually, uh, I have a favor to ask of you. This cat named Shu, I didn't put a lot of food around at the house, so probably hungry. You think you could drop by the house and eat beat you for me, dude? I was a little ways down from the hotel, right? This is terrible. I'm sorry, we have to feed this cat. I'm sure for shoes, his stomach is growling by now. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Of course, the client's request, I guess I should check up on this cat. It looks really busy with something down there. Hmm. Probably strengthening the evidence for tomorrow's trial. Hey, hurry up with that. We get past victims less around. You gotta be kidding that there's over 100 people on here. Uh, Mr. Nick, is our guard really that bad or big, bad, big and bad of a grumble? I said, probably never mind. It sounds like they're working on a different case.
Hey, Mr. Nick. Let's go look for clues. We have to look for missing mice. Shall not pass. Cast for soul bag. Don't develop my name, turn into Gatsby and the big head frog. Because you have been made to look like a bad guy again. I have to I did get the guy from Eddie Boy. This is promise, but more value. I want to do my heart. You're making a wild beast inside this old bag. Yeah. Um, it's old bag. Keep your hands off of me. So much airtight. No air's getting in. No air. Get that. Um, that's, why do you keep putting it on? Looks like you could get me to move with silly questions. Defeat me if you want to get by. I'm not hearing this. Try second guards mansion in the living room. Sure, it's dark. That time of late. What does this Star's house look like? It must be nice to be rich. Come on, Mr. Nick. Find a shoe to kick it. Shoe! Aww. So I guess this is a shoe. What a lovely cat. Hello, shoe. She's like pearls. Pardon me, uh. May I help you with something, uh, stuff? So you, you're with lawyers. I'm with Master and Guard's lawyer. I'm actually man and Guard's lawyer. I'm also, uh, then, uh, you must be a star, right? Yes. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, you wonderful self. I'm fairly but late John Doe. How does nobody. <laughs> I get, I get that, that. Honestly, we don't reckon it because we didn't buy his only seen him, but it, this is the same guy we freaking ran into in the hotel. No. Man, it's, there ain't too many guys with that many scars like that that must look like that around the world. <laughs> is Phoenix that dumb and they can't even recognize it's the same guy that told Maya it was a, it was a phone call? Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. I wonder if you wouldn't mind taking a look at this. If I'm not going to offer you a special about that, uh, appreciate it for your little servant. We're going to have a trial. Flight your city with a rude, hysteric double butler. There are all sorts of things around my guard, right? I'm so sorry, I don't believe my master's capable of such a foul deed's murder. And, uh, anything else? No, not especially, uh, it's not appropriate for a lower servant to speak of the master affairs. Mm, how difficult, but, well, like, as it were. So, how long have you been have you served at this residence? So, I would have to say, my, maybe a win y'all. And, uh, anything else? No, not especially, uh, not appropriate for the lowest servant to speak of himself as uh, a It's a very cute cat you got there. It's my duty to take care of him, the master read the fancy shoe. And, uh, anything else? No, not especially, uh, it's not appropriate for the, the, for, 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 I guess I don't need this piece of scrap paper anymore. Well, uh, I'm afraid I must take my leave if you'll know. You should probably get yourselves going yourselves. Anyway, you're, you're already so accomplished by the law. So, but there's also a lot to be proud of in a, being a butler. Charged with a hell of less and all. Give her a compliment to other people who are not always who they appear to be. Of your excuse, man. You know. Giant bicycles flying through the air. The bicycle is pearls is you know or you know at the pill was on its own. Really? Wow. Sorry this point you can't fly. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, there's a giant cooking right there. It's actually a fireplace. How are they any different, Mr. Nick? You know, I've never actually seen it before, I couldn't think of it. Come visit Fame Man and I'll show you one when you do. Hey, 
Yeah, maybe if I show this or this light I got from Edgewood. Um, Miss Old Bank, if you look at this, what? Why do you want to look at what's a piece of. Oh, Itchy Pill! Uh, Gazette Perfume from the Amor. I smell each other. Let's see here. Could you please allow this unsophisticated person to investigate? It truly, it truly is worth. You're truly? I mean, it's a kind of flurry. Fine, but only because Eddie Pooh said so. And every direction given to his old bag. I just thought something. I have to do. We're not messing around. You do anything bad, I won't look, let you off the hook. It looks like she has strong feelings about the Edward. It's totally one way. <laughs> eh, maybe, but you know, no, nothing's gonna come of it. So mean, Mr. Nick. Feelings are meant to be told and shared. Ow. Time we talk about love, I always end up with a handprint on my face somehow. Uh, so, anyhow, let's continue the investigation. Okay. At that, 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 that. Eck, what now? One thing before I forget. He got it in God's room today. Why? Please bring the investigation team is going to be all there. There all day. Yeah, I'll have the team's charge of investigating the killer. Don't go in there. Set, set one foot in there and you'll face the wrath of the old bank. Okay, well, it's a hotel. Where the elements here? And yet the hotel seems so busy somehow. Well, because the police team is scourging for clues about the killer. There's a second gateway to the hotel hallway. Hey, city boy! Lana, you still here? I can go us! Investigation for Kadavra eats the stars on our ability to stamp up a scoop, yeah. Don't just set that are a mystery. Oh, you know, like there's something always hap about to happen. But do you have a camera? Or again, given the photographer's gotta have cameras out in the, um, he's like corner real pro, you know. I'll hang around here. Speaking of cameras and being in the mouth, do you have mind? You be a thief? Why well, can't you drop the thief thing already? I don't have an answer about the end of our, What? You really chill out the bucks for the info I get? Well, you were loitering in the hallway the night of the murder, were you not? Well, kind of, but... Brace yourself, Phoenix. Here it comes. I was like, hanging around the hat here the entire time, you know? Follow the, follow the stars around. Got a few augers, shook a few hands, had a soda popping with them. If you do. It was at all time that, that night. Yeah, that's was, wasn't in the hallway this, this whole time either. Because that means there's no way we can tell who came and went that night. So, about this note that was inside the camera case. Oh, did I write that? <laughs> yeah, I can, can, can I believe what you're written? It's up at in God's seven is mansion, Lady of the Karina. Yeah, oh well, I reckon you best to not to believe in that. What? Look, I saw her wrote that on a whim, you know, right now, whatever come to mind. Whatever come to mind? Yeah, when you get down to it, it's just a lot of random bull dodgers. Hey, what's with y'all? Just staring at me like your grandpa used to. Huh. Hey, and why do you look like suddenly got all the two? Am I shrinking here? Uh. Yeah, my baby, my $1,600 baby. I'm not red coated prosecutor, anyhow. The guy told me it was evidence, refused to give it back to me. Well, that's kind of how it is. Hey, you're that red coat's friend, ain't you? What if I get words for me and give, get my camera back? You want me to do what? The nag the 
guy really good in about five hours, and I guarantee he'll give it back to you. How do you do that, you old dark? Work? I reckon it's time for me to get going. I forgot what a bet camera is, but that camera is just a tablet, huh? Um, yeah, I guess so. Keep yourself out, of, out there, you hear? I'm gonna see you in court tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you then. You too there, little, um, keep up the good work. Okay? Okay. Don't be picking about your food now. Okay? Should I do all your homework, you hear? Okay. You happen to find me if you have a camera, make sure that you bring it to me. Uh, would you please leave that. Uh, leave already. <sighs> oh. The neck? What is that other rolling ghost, ghastly running? Oh, gosh. It even goes, where? Look at the ghost. There's a demon. Oh, it's a demon, all right! <laughs> Excuse me, what? Who, what do you call? Who are you calling a demon, bruh? Uh -huh. No, it's just the alien. Who are you calling an alien? Rat, tat, 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 tat. I was just you, Miss Old Bags. What are you doing there? What's wrong with you, you again today? You're down to pay respects to point one and you're disturbing me. Talk to me about the day of the murder just one more time. I talked about playing at the trial. I was full trick deceived by the fraud of a photographer in a hotel. Uh, she was loitering around here and a basilical look on her face. But then it was a look on her face. I, okay, I got it. I, now, hold a second there, you little pipsy. Take that to at least make me sound like better than that. Okay, uh, alright. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> you know, I was working that night too, doing my job, minding my own business. So that, that it's not like I had time to waste standing around here all night. If you could tell me a bit, a bit, a bit more about Mr. Greta. He's a papa star, you know. Especially where it counts in my book. I heard he was laying behind the poles Mr. against Mr. Guard. Well, it's just a real recent thing. Bad luck and all, you know. But he was going to become a bigger star than he used to be. Look, just look at the mountains of presents. It's a show of mountains of feelings all his fans had of him. Yeah, the mountain was pretty big and certainly nothing to share a stick at. Mr. Nick? Where's the pearls? The princess, they're all bears, right? It's got a point. This is a strange it's a single thing that isn't here that isn't a bear. All Mr. Great's presents are from his fans that seem to be bears. Well, that's because he can't think of one without thinking about bears. Bears? Why are bears? You don't know what. When my dear one was training, he fought bare-handed with a bear. He used to give in and let Bear win, but after that, they f after the fight, you became friends. What a heartwarming story! Look, it's just like in those young dreams. I can see those two tucking out. Down by the river, he, he sure could fight. You too, Bub. You too. Did all that really happen? There's biography, Bub. What a crack. Fans have been giving him bears as presents. Yeah, nice bears. Growl. Uncle Bear, I say it's barely 8 o'clock. Where's the infernal racket? Where's well, the presents going off? Sounds like it's already 8 p.m. way past your bedtime. I guess so many I thought I was gonna die for a second. 8 p.m.? Time when he were serving in it that night, remember? Time sure flies. Hard to believe it's been two days since the ceremony. 
transceiver. Beep. Hello, hello? This is not a phone, uh... Maya, how's Maya? You haven't already, have you? Since you were not able to fill your end of the bargain, Mr. Tomea. I've heard the news, uh, since it would seem very present. Did you know good? No, Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya! One day, please, all I ask for one more day. Okay, not get the very for sure this time, please. Oh, if I must, I uh, need that equivalent more than anything else after all. Please, please let Maya say something. I want to hear her. She's already. All right, it is this and uh, it's a little, a little. Just all of a sudden. Hello, hello. It seems bad. Can I? Damn it! Did the transceiver system suddenly break? Excuse me. Uh. What happened? I don't know. All of a sudden, it became nothing but static. Uh, Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya. The transceiver is suddenly break like that. Should probably have an electronics expert. Okay, the sooner the better. Try a second, right company of all offices. Hey, welcome back, pal. I make you a little something for dinner. That's nice, thanks. <laughs> it's just meal full course of if I can it is. So you would do all the trouble cook, but I don't want time to eat. Oops, look like you don't have a can of it, pal. I'd be kidding. I thought he had already whipped up something. I know this is the way I know how to be helpful. If anything you want, pal, go ahead. Here an offering. Or if I should just try asking him. Transceiver? I think you should ask Mr. Scruffy about that thing. What thing? Yeah, this thing that just up and broke all of a sudden. It broke, pal? Talking to the kidnapper just suddenly broke in the static. Look, it sound like this. I don't hear any static, pal. Huh? Here, fix yourself. A stranger sure was making a loud static noise. Hmm, maybe. Maybe what? It was electro electromagnetic interference, pal. Magnetic interference? Um, so what is this electromagnetic interference? Something that happens when the radio wave gets mixed up with another signal, pal. You put it that way. That's not what you're talking about. Like, for example, the cell phone goes off next to a computer. Stuff on the screen gets all kind of all fuzzy and starts acting kind of funny, right? Computer? <laughs> oh, it's like when you use the dryer next to the TV and the screen starts looking weird. Oh yeah, the TV does that, does that, so, so that's what you're talking about. She seems amazingly happy at being able to stand this. The room you're in with the affairs, uh, the transceiver happened. Gotta be something here that's sending out a very strong radio waves, pal. Something like, like a listening device or something. Uh -huh. Hey, speaking of that, where were you, where were you when it happened? Or Mr. Curry's room. See you in the bar. What? I said, I'm going to sneak into the precinct and get a bug sweeper. I'll meet you at the crime scene later, pal. I wake up too. Oh, yeah, baby. It's investigation time. I'm on fire, pal. My fingers are itching the to go. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to, Nick. All right, let's go.
Try to take a game while tell Curry is hotel room. <laughs> hey, you're finally here, pal. Sorry to keep you waiting. You have the um, bike sweeper? Well, you see, uh, you're supposed to try to sneak in, pal, then I'm selling him during a precinct doors. That's what I mean, so yeah, I couldn't get one of those police bug sweepers. What do you mean you couldn't get one? I need the item. Get up, I didn't get that one. I, it just, the police! It's like. Sorry, my backers, it's in me. Get a scratch. I need to get, get my back scratcher. Well, I didn't say I didn't get one that just at the police's. Ow, this is the bug sweeper. Looks a little broken. This one, this one I made was an ultra school pal. Oh, by the way, <laughs> of course, I see. It brings back memories. <laughs> Look down on it, pal. It sure looks like a little beat up. Put my heart and soul into building this puppy here. Your heart and soul? Or trust me, pal. I'll do the job, but... But... I can see it's set to sensitivity. Gotta beat for anything that gives off electromagnetic waves. But... But isn't it better that way? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, anyway, since I brought it all this way, we might as well give it a whirl, right, pal? I get a sicky feeling again. I'll tell you how to use this baby. There's a listening advice for some sort of bug in this room, pal. I'll find it, right? Now, I first turn. Let's turn the sweeper on. Let's move the sweeper around to get a real thorough look, see, pal. To know how the stronger signal is picking up. So keep an eye. And once you find something, they'll give off a lot of radio waves. Press the A button to lock on it. There's a lot of things here that will give radio waves. So let's keep a good look at anything, everything that seems suspicious, okay, pal? Alright, I'm gonna stand outside and keep an eye out. Give me a yell if you're finding it. Fuck, got it, pal. It doesn't seem to me it didn't go off there, and I careful. I And the list of the races in the TV of all places. He was left out and is now showing an old samurai movie. That channel plays all sorts of international movies as well as dramatic ones. And I never, every, every time I watch TV, one of those old movies, I, I would think, oh, the Japanese guys are really good at English. Oh, uh, yeah. If I want to study Japanese, I should probably keep my mouth shut here and not try dreams. A phone is most certainly common place for listening rights, I say. Take it to receive part before we get ahead of ourselves here. And you know a lot about electronics, don't you, Mr. Nick? And a ton, especially when it comes to when they take it apart. It's the fixing part of the gum shoe. So is there anything listening device? No, I really thought it was a phone. It's on playing something. Oh, it's kids' questions corner. Professor, professor, what not? Why is that round? So why is it, Mr. Nick? Alright, why don't you listen to the radio program a little more? Cell phone, no, no bugs in there. Cell phone? What? You know what a cell phone is? I said I'd never seen one before. She mentions it. My cell phone couldn't get any exception while I was in the Dane Curve Village. Folks have never lived outside the, that village. I guess I can't say it's impossible to live with that one. A lovely bear. Growl. Ah! Uh, this must be one of those fancy bear shaped toy robots. Oh, wait, it's a real robot? Yeah, it's a real one. Mr. Nick? 
Yes. How many horse pals is it? How many horses is it? Horses? Uh, well, well, like it's a bear, so, uh. Lamp check, let's look at my soap. It's all the lamps in this room, but aren't they, Nick? Yeah. They're all on. She shouldn't do that, Mr. Nick. You know, that's wasteful. Uh, yeah, I'll be more cautious from now on. It's all this thing that makes the notebook computer, huh? What's a notebook computer? You know what a notebook <laughs> is? It's a small book of paper that's being array on it, so... I think it's like a notebook in a way, basically like a small laptop. I'm sick with the laptop. This is, this is just a giant stuffed teddy bear, right? What I've ever seen. Are you guys finding it? Listen to what I mean? No, not yet, but the bear's eye is... Let's see, let's see. Perfectly normal stuffed bear with some really strong radio waves. Like I found the device to me, pal. Let's take this big fella's eye out and see what we got. No, you can't. Since I finally like a frip. No! It's a camera. It's a miniature camera. It's like there's more. There's a transmitter and a timer. A what up? What a what up, manner? Transfer, pal. Is that more of that high tech stuff? Tiny thing is a camera. Yep, it's a pin old CCTV camera, pal. The small high grade video camera mostly uses security systems. The video camera. Where's that barrier? It's usually because of the set. But there's no videotape in this camera. It's only like camera part here, pal. Tape car with the tape inside somewhere else. Somewhere else? First it's charged in the radio waves and it's set to the recorder. So it's sort of like a TV broadcast, isn't it? Hey, you know, you're right, pal. It's my camera at the end of the court record. So what is a transmitter? It's right to send the footage to, to a specific destination. The video version of the listening device, pal. It's like it's attached to a small clock-like thing. Oh, that's a timer, pal. I said turn the camera on and record it at a certain time with the... It's set for a certain time? Let's see, this looks like... You made him go for one hour! It's when they sword stammering in it. So no date set, so if it's just been recording every night, I guess. It's a detective, how long has Spare been here? I'm pretty sure it's been here since the night of the murder. And maybe. Got the murder on tape. What? If you think about it, the angle of the bear is that. It's about to have a clear shot of the whole crime, pal. Camera that bears eye it was disguised as a present. I'm sure it was her, here on the day of the murder, pal. Pretty much that stands out pretty well in my mind. But who gave Mr. Cray this present? I don't know, pal. But that means there's someone out there got a video of what happened that night. Hey, maybe we can find out who the person is? It's impossible, pal. There are any ways can be said almost anywhere, so there's no way to find out. Oh, sniffle. Really, no way to find out? I got it. What? what? Hey, pal, let me borrow this main camera for a bit. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go around the electronic stuff to see if I can find out about it. It's a puzzle, I mean, it's already 9 p.m. I mean, even if I have to search all night, I'll find you, you, your man, pal. My camera transmitted, giving a take the gun to. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's take some time. I'm on fire, pal. My fingers are itching to go. 
Yeah. He's gone. It just seemed like he really was, uh... Sad that out. <laughs> be useful in this case. Which is nice. Yeah. This scruffy detective sure is a nice man. He's pushing himself so hard, all for Mystic Maya's sake. It's a mystery how you always manage to do things in a most insignificant way, right? Eck. You have to excuse me, I had the conversation just now. So what are you doing here? Skewers have created the deployed. Say I'm optimistic, but I have to move forward one step at a time. See, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me yet. We still have to find her. So there was a spy camera inside the stuff. Bar. Oh, you're one lucky man, That's right? This stuff, bear, little, little girl. Um, I have no idea. Uh, of course not. The maker of this bear is a very expensive luxury brand from overseas. Completely handmade, only a small number of these are exported here. Transmitted that scab brain detector took one of my dead ends. He brought it anywhere, however, the best bear is different. Tracking it, guide in this country is bear can tell us who the buyer is. Can he really do that, Mr. Nick? Can he? I guess so. 9 p.m. I think I can still make it in time. Oh, they will look good in this for you now. I'm sure you have other things to do. You have to do. Stop there, stand up by it. What? See you soon, all right? Wait. What? Uh, why are you doing this? I know I'm just playing myself to someone that cannot comprehend. Besides, right? The court reconvenes tomorrow. You should concern yourself with the question. Who's that person that murdered Juan Carita? The real killer? I think it was Adrian Andrews. To be honest, I don't know anymore. I still have a little time left. Find the truth, right? Everything begins with the truth. Juan Carita's real killer. It was Andrews passed. The kidnapper was sole condition and acquittal for was on guard. And this card. Shelly the killer. Maya, the only one I could save the only way I could save you now is find all the answers to this case tonight. I don't what you're all ten arm, Edward. But as you said, all I can do now is find the truth. I, I'm actually going to take a little break, and then we'll do part two of the investigation. Day two of the investigation there to air. Just a few moments, and then first to drink. <laughs> so, yeah. Back in just a few moments, let's get down with day 10 of Things Right Just for All here in town.
and we're back. It's past time to be MRA, isn't it? I wonder, I wonder if it's as much as I already found Mr. Kamaya. It's gonna take some time, so I'd probably say probably not. Please to refresh those pearls, I'll, I'll find that, don't worry. So don't worry. Go in the not guilty verdict tomorrow, and then everything will be okay. The person who killed Mr. Greedo was the assassin Shelly the Killer, right? The card Miss Andrews found at the crime scene seems to prove for that. But if that's the case, then the, the question comes to mind. Someone to hired the killer to begin with. Who is the client? You asked for the murder? The person didn't want to dirty their own hands of blood by whoever this client is. They're still a killer. Who could have hired the assassin? You think it was Miss Andrews? I wonder. She was the client. Then why would she go through the effort of stabbing the knife in the corpse herself? If Miss Andrews wasn't a client, then it can't be. Where I got himself? If Miss Aunt is the guy that was really did hire the assassin, as is at all. Far from it. it would be guilty of a crime. It can't be Mr. Gardner, right? When he we first talked to him, with them, the guy, I'd like to ask you one more question. Did you kill him on Karina? Alright, this or kill you, dude. I didn't kill anyone that includes Mr. Karina. Good one, Karina. I see a silex that time. Actually, that reminds me. Do you remember something, Mr. Nick? Yeah, something Mr. Andrews said, trial day. Something interesting. What was it? This interesting thing. Oh, that's right. You didn't hear it, did you, Pearls? Wanted better about everything that on the damning ninja this year. If you lost the Grand Prix, just gotta make sure Matt was going down with him. That's what he thought anyway. Look like one and his hands on a perfect secret so powerful could destroy Matt's acting career. It had to be had been revealed. Revealed. It's a secret? What's a secret? I don't know yet. But for now, let's think about it this way. Korea's gonna reveal the secret. I mean, it's got a play in both of the cabinets to Korea's silence. Which means we have to meet with Mr. Guard. There's no way around it. Turns out you know, it tell. It's really getting late, isn't it, Mr. Nick? It's past 9 p.m. already. We still have some things to prepare for tomorrow trial. It's a little matter of the secret Mr. Green holds about Mr. On Guard. To answer his real attentions, there are two things I, I must know tonight. Everything I was over at the detention center? I'm sure we'll think of something, Pearls. Don't worry. Oh boy. Hey, wait. What is it, Whippersnapper? All I know is nothing has to do with you is ever good. Listen, I was handed this strange dice for who knows what reason. I was told to use it to search the hotel. hotel. It's a bug soup, isn't it? What could you made? I don't frankly, I don't care about the quest. Can we see Pusso Edgeworth? He said. 
You feel angry direct staring at the unsophisticated lawyer. I gotta feel free to direct my anger towards you. Ugh. Do you think it's a fun one that's worth? Absolutely toxic, you think? Yeah, better keep it to yourself. They found a spy camera in one of the prisons. Um, very interesting. Seriously, you know, as the catch point one in the middle of scandalous meeting. Scandalous? What's that? Means well, you know, the gas has been gone around my dear one. What do you mean that thing about Miss Andrews? She must have a good reason for getting close to Mr. Mr. Greta. Let's see another secret, young man. I know who played to that camera. This off Knox's puffy haired photographer girl that's nervous for some people. Fine, our people by herself all I can as if I wouldn't want to see it for myself too. Only I mean, actually committed her committed her true attentions for a change. I don't know why you're thinking exactly, but I can tell you because it's not good. But it's say anything. You can't want to know if it wanted it manager, right? Actually, a hair with hair or something a refreshing pair of two. Oh, tell you, I want to really welcome that manager with open arms. I heard. That manager, who are you talking about? You don't know that manager, woman, what woman, one hand. It's a shame she killed herself, though. What are you talking about, Miss Celeste Impact? Miss Andrews is right? Yeah, that that's someone. Celeste girl. She's supposed to get the married. She's supposed to get married, you know. Married? You mean Mr. Karita? Sorry, really young kids, they don't know anything, do you? That girl, that girl Celeste killed herself three days after their marriage announcement. Three days after marriage announcement? What in the world? Why did Miss Apex want to kill herself? She was going to get married. Well, that's because they just thrown away, you see, by one. What? But, but they were going to get married, right? They promised each other, right? They held a grand announcement session, but... Two days later, Juan suddenly canceled their marriage. Is it true? Was there a weekly magazines? Why? Why did he do that? It's not in the magazines, unfortunately. I see. That night after Juan called the wing, that manager Celeste killed herself. They're terrible. I don't know what happened between those two. He's still just getting interested. On that night, there must have been at least a few hundred people here. I guess the police are done with their questioning and investigation. I said things here in the lobby and finally calmed down. It's sort of tense in here, doesn't it, Nick? Yeah, it does. I wonder if something's happening. You're a judge, but lawyer. Or, or, yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> well, finally found this depression we've been looking for. A real decisive witness. Decisive does witness? You mean for, for the guard case? T taking a witness statement right now. I got a end of the message of what it's up to now. Who's this witness? You know, this person quite well as a lawyer. Mr. Nick. The kidnappers demand now this. I can't see anyone went to win here. Oh, yeah. He wanted to tell me, tell you something. He did? The first thing I was along all the way to the census, huh? He wanted to grant you a persuasive permission, so there you go. What? Come so you know. You know. Go and talk to your hearts of content. Thank you very much. Such good news, Nick. Go talk to your hearts of content. Look, the police are pretty sure they have to march around in the bag. For a second, the dentist signed up for the emergency room. I'm sorry, you must have transferred Miss Andrews if we're here by now. They say both Miss Angard and Miss Andrews are in this detention center. And whose story do I want to hear? Dude, this must be right. We got me off the hook by the hook tomorrow, I'm counting you. Dude, I hope so too. Richard just dropped a bombshell on me by saying... 
Juan Crea was killed by an assassin and that the, that's the client is this man, man of guard. What's wrong? Is there a guard? It's something I must know 100%. Uh, you seem, seem quite kind of different. I totally not like yourself. You yourself do do these to yourself. We're at the press conference. No one will hunt. We got to dress up as a Nicholas Samurai. You're a little more about it from Miss Andrews. Like somehow one hand hands a secret so powerful, showing Matt's acting career has been revealed. Can you please fill me in on uh, what the secret is, please? Oh, you hey. And it is coming. It's a make don't tell me. Silox. The secret, right? But I don't have any idea what that is, do you, dude? Do you know anything about Karina and Andrew's relationship? It's all over the tabloid, dude. Uh, but I don't know any of the details of you. That's what you mean. Look how many times I have to tell you. I care what one did with his life. With Andrew, she had a purpose in mind. She started seeing it as the Korea. Her mentor was Mr. Korea's manager. This is gonna t get Mrs. Celeste's impacts in since I know from Celeste. Uh, did, does that jog your memories? Dude, I suddenly just got totally hungry. Up for pizza, my treat. Um, is it Nick? What's a pizza? Let's go eat one layer, okay? I'll get caught off by the pizza dude in the shop. It's a bad. Well, how about we get out there on my off the topic and talk about something else, okay? A guard connected to Mrs. Impact suicide in some way. Oh, Mr. Ray, you had, you had to help me. Uh oh. Powers. What happened? Why are you here? Oh, yeah, you see, I got I got roped into something. What? I'm gonna testify tomorrow. Try to run to outside for witnesses, Mr. Powers. I was talking with Detective, and a little while ago, I was on my way home. All of a sudden, you're there. You're you're arrested. I was brought back here. Oh, it's an old self in the journal it looks suspicious or something. Mm. I can see how they thought it looked suspicious. That's a normal guy with extra size shell for kids, is that a crime? It's about this testimony you're giving. What are you going to talk about? I don't really know yet. I was like I saw something pretty important from what they tell me. Something important? What was it? Oh, well, the detective told me to talk about it. You can't tell anyone, and especially not the lawyer, he said. What do you think that is? That the lawyer, that lawyer, is detective was talking about. I'm thinking a wild guess that it's me. Yeah, you got it, Mister Nick. I am myself for the two allies in the whole world at Bell Bury. I'll try to really have a lot of friends today. Got a lot, damn, Mister Matt, you know. Yes, yeah, he's got the refreshing, like a spring breeze image going. What's he really like? Let's see, Matt's always been kind of a player with women. They really turned the pretty face away, if, if you know what I mean. He's always saying, it's just a game to justify myself. What? Her whole is unforgivable. Al, sorry, I didn't mean to friend you. You know, he said once that there's only one person in the world who would swoon over me. Someone swoon over him? It's Ranchy, you know, the, it's Adrian Andrews. The power suddenly look, kind of looking energetic. I'm actually a sucker for gossip. Oh, celebrity in their world have the dazzling sorts of image, right? <laughs> sort of image, but you, aren't you part of the, that dazzle, Mr. Palace? I'm a hairy, sweaty, small, smelly, British kind of guy, you see. It's okay, really. Get there playing gossip. I bet a lot of other stars around me and make things happen. You know, it's true. 
Oh hey, so did you hear about that? This yet, Miss Andrews went through a suicide note. Miss Apex, you heard something about a wedding was canceled. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I thought about a little the other day about that mysterious death. It was right, once you go last you felt that go on there and go and try to charge up again practice going with electricity. You heard this? I thought the suicide note, yeah. They said that Wanda went and hit it. I mean we heard about that in court today. There wasn't actually any proof that she left the suit no. Well this is what I think. Something bad was written on that note. Something so bad, something bad for one that is. Bad for Mr. Karina? Why do you figure so? Well, before she died, so let's talk to a few of her friends. It's like, kind of truly with a serious man. Truly a serious man, does she mean Mr. Karina, but eh? It all said fits the bell, right? There would be no reason enough for him to hide the suicide note. I see. Well, that's some good info. Thank you. You're welcome, uh, Mr. Guard and Mr. Andrews. The both of the tits are right now. Some things I don't understand or know about, I'm sure. I think two of them tell me everything. Oh, it's you. Sorry, fizzing at such a late hour. A few questions I actually have to ask you tonight. Me? I thought your client was mad. I'm sure Mr. Andrews knows something. She can't be clueless about the secret Mr. Creed had on, on guard. I'd like to ask you about Mr. On guard if you don't mind. It's alright, you still don't know, do you? The real him, I mean. Seems to bear a lot of resentment towards Ma Mr. Ungard. Grayson, why did you become his manager? Why did you attempt to become intimate with his rival? It has nothing to do with this case, nothing. I finally put a death behind me. Now thanks to you, it's come all come back to the surface. I'm sorry. I was shocked by a suicide, and it's true that when I heard the rumor that Juan was the one who had hidden their suicide note, I began to draw closer to him. I wanted to get a suicide note back to burn it. You want to burn it? Why? I want to spread like this is a piece of gossip. But I never held a murderous intent towards one. Do something so stupid. Suicide I wonder what was said. Why'd you try to frame Mr. Guard? That's simple, because he's the killer, that's why. It's a, isn't it a duty of every good citizen to inform the police? But there had to be another way. The police ha are excellent at doing their job, so they figure it out, right? And it's so good that they couldn't figure out the real truth behind plus death. Mr. Andrews? Now you're not the type of person to do something for that reason, so please tell me why you did revenge. Huh? Just say something now? Ah, oh, jeez. So I like, huh? Do you understand that? You're not my lawyer. To be honest, you're more like my enemy. But, I'm sure I just heard Mr. Andrews say revenge. Mr. Nick, your phone. That's a still Samurai theme song, isn't it? I like the sound of this ringtone right now. Kind of ominous. Yeah, I know. Hey, hello? We're in trouble now, pal. I'm back at the office real soon. What's wrong? So something really unexpected just happened. It's worth the, uh... It's worth... We're going to get back to the office, pal. I don't know what's going on anymore. It's not good. Oh, got cut off. Gone, Mr. Nick. You said we need to get back to the office right away. 
to hurry back. Scared to go back. What are you talking about, Mr. Nick? Pull yourself together. Um. Oh, you have good news. Somehow I doubt that. What took you so long, pal? George can't, can't stick around here forever. He had to go. What happened? What happened? We got him. We got who brought the that spy camera. Eh? It's this quickly? This bear would give them away anyway, pal. The bear? I figured it out, pal. We that we should have been looking in the bear instead of the camera. Uh, but what's that, Mister Edwards? Sprouts, go on. There's only one person who bought one of these bears that's related to this crime. Who is it? We've been so rude to buy another person in this room. Man on guard. Huh? Man on guard, they call it that too, pal. Yeah, I thought this thing couldn't get any worse. Sure heard that right? The person who bought the bear was... I heard it from the department store clerk, pal. The credit card received for the purchase. It's for $3,800, pal. That's exact match to the price. The bear. Receipt, that's all you have? That's not just the receipt, pal. The store clerk said so himself. I'm sure I sold the bear to Mr. Ungard. And the clerk even got Mr. Ungard's autograph out of it, pal. I'm sure the person that bought the stuffed bear was Mr. Ungard himself. My sight is failing me. This is can't be. about the spy camera we found? Uh, and I was that pal. I mean, you get this kind of thing from anywhere. For, for now, I guess I can give this back to you for you found it away in Evans. And you don't want to give up, pal. I never thought, I, never th I didn't think it was possible. Let's put the spy camera in one Korea's room with Man and Guard. Would Mr. Guard do something like this? Everybody's the catcher Sanders from Korea in one of those round rooms. But it's not good enough for me. I have to know the absolute truth behind this camera. You gonna see him, Mr. Ungard, I mean? Yeah. I'm scared, Mr. Nick. I know what we find out we'll find out next. I'm scared myself but I have to put a good face on for pearls. I got what what have you done? You're working really late, you know? It's already past 10 p.m., dude. It's time you told me the truth. Alex, well, don't you know that Ingrid is bliss? If you want to know, let's talk. Let's see what the secret of yours is. Look, we have been successful at this plan. What we have discovered. Guess. I told you, dude, I don't know. I don't know anything about one, okay? Look, it's right. I can keep saying it until it blew the face, but I totally didn't pay one or want any attention the whole night. The whole time of the night. Hey, come on, I wasn't in the middle of a nap. It was a little nap. Don't lie to me. Huh? I know you paid close attention to one, especially on that night. Someone used this camera to secretly film Mr. Gray's room that night. What a murder. Secret film? What? It's the same as the camera took with the transmitter. Well, but dude, where was the camera you're talking about in? The spy camera is in the bear's eye. The bear that was supposed to present, be a present from a fan. I guess I wanted a few of these kinds of fans. Yeah, oh, dude. I still wouldn't say this bear was a present from a fan. Are you sure, dude? 
It's gonna be from. First, I gave the spare that was great was. What's that, guide? Ag. This should be. Uh, God, don't you know this bear from somewhere? You're gonna bet the bear before, dude. Since he knows you, how could you forget? Says a great friend. Uh, what else did the bear tell you? Someone that put the camera in his eye was you, Mr. Guard. Oh, uh, if I don't know, you weren't gonna cry taking a serious trouble. Come on, it's all a joke, dude. Right, dude, you just pulled my leg. I think I'm not ready to give you a secret yet. What do you have proof? You want to show me first? With that, you put in the, in the camera. I got ahead of myself. I have read one credit card receipt, Mr. Guard. It was from you, brought the. That's up there. Dude, all you can tell from this is I spent $3,800. But it's so all the time, okay? This $3,800, this could be a toothbrush that I bought one time. They're here to tell toothbrush. Diary, and it's got open hair for bristles. You open hair. Is that what rich people use nowadays? Anyway, they're called clear removes you and your purchase. Are you giving them an autograph? Did you not? You said that earlier. Um, so I can ask uh, one thing? Yes, you're my lawyer, right, dude? You're, then why are you looking at this stuff like that? I don't know the truth, I can't help you. Look more like a stupid lawyer to me, eh? Yeah? Hey, don't stop talking about this, okay? Not yet. I, w I haven't asked why you set the camera up yet. And what your secret is. Of course, it would be strictly confidential. So what are you gonna do now? I find out what I want to know because I want to know. You get this camera's room and film it, see what it is. Adrian Andrews? <laughs> There's a rumor going around. So Andrews is a great that we're having a secret being. You don't want to keep tabs on Mr. Greta. Reveal this fact and turn it out into a skin. Is that right? Dude, you can be such a moron, huh? Oh man, Mr. Larry, dude. That kind of scandal. It's good stuff. That's what we get. It's called Juicy. The good stuff. Juicy. You can publicly, well, spending a penny in it. That kind of stuff. I mean, if people stop paying attention to us, then, man, dude. Too bad that was in your attention. What are you talking about? What's your reason for spying with something so instant? But it wasn't. You didn't spy on Mr. Green because it was Andrews. There's only one reason I can think of for you to do such a thing. The real reason we set up the camera was. What is this card? Hey, he doesn't know about this card. Certain man's calling card. Name is Shelly the Killer. I'm sure you know him, don't you? Shelly the Killer? It's ridiculous. Why would I know s s some shady scumbag like that? You know, if you, don't, you really don't know him, why you act so like Um, this is it. Finally, I'm starting to get to the truth. I can't afford to make any mistakes now. The man on guard? I don't know why you missed the kill, it's because you're his client. So you're the one who set up the camera. I mean, so you know who you know exactly what was gonna happen in that room. So how? How would you know something like that? Because you're his client, that's why. That's Shelly the killer. 
This sad thing was so uncreated. The real best of my little despair is you, Matt and Guard. Sorry. I was trying to be a good boy for you, dude. I thought if you didn't know, you wouldn't be able to do your job without feeling bad. That's what I thought. Anyway, is that good? You really did hire. A second. I'm gonna consult myself, okay? Consult myself? I guess it's probably about time. Anyway, time for what? I think it's time for you to meet him now, Miss Lloyd, dude. How do you do, Mr. Lawyer? I'm man and guard. Oh, shit. Well done, Mr. Wright. You always need to get the information that you have. Really, so you really are chilly to kill this client. You don't think I would dirty my own hands in this, do you? <laughs> What do you mean? That woman, Adrian Andrew, Adrian was quite brave herself. Trying to stick the crime in me and I didn't think she had that in her. All I, all I care about is that one is dead in that right, list the lawyer. It's just, you're lying, we're terrible. So we pass your bedtime, little girl. Go on, like, let's grow up talking about more adult things. Why, why did you hide the, hide the video in the camera? We can soon believe the words of others. It's like the pathetic Adrian. You know, it's Andrew's secret. I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone. It's of all assassins. What? Come on out, Mr. Wright. Assassins are above blackmail. We turn the clients into cash cows by holding this simple head of deed over their heads. Super star like me. How do you think? Uh, how much do you think I'm worth? Can I guess? That, that's why? Yes, that's where the video comes in. I got his face in the crime scene recorded on the, on the preserve at the moment. But I can keep him at bay and even blackmail him if I want. That's right, the video is assurance. Isn't that what they call it, Mr. Red? But you do something so wrong. I'm growing up. Good, and I, could, I can't get enough of the answer for you, little girl. I didn't mean to put I wish you killed Mr. Karina. Because he's about to sling so much dung into a public image. Well, annoying, aren't they? That's all because of that press conference, isn't it? I have been able to give it. Sick of the of Oh, that's what you call taking advantage of the situation now. I was just doing it really, but bit by bit crept up on me. The situation just presented itself perfectly. How beautiful, I thought. And it's, that's how Mr. Karina ended up dead. Let me tell you something that I'm not like Adrian. Adrian. I'm not paying anyone. People with simple things to be used. Use the thong away. Put a sweet into face, people will still swallow anything you feed them. And you fell for it, the assassin too. Oh, and how can I forget? I mean, you fell for it, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> You're all working it. Burnt off for me, man of guard. Oh, did that leave you speechless? What a shame. What's wrong, Mr. Lawyer? I'm quite off, awfully quiet, off, awfully quiet. I could have been so seen by you all this time. First man asked if you had killed one Karina. He's never clearly hadn't killed anyone. And now I never told you any lies. First he did the killer, it was just the killer guy, right? I'm guilty of, the, of t is taking a catnap in my room. You, you killed Mr. Karina, ha <laughs> ha I dare say that in court tomorrow. Gruh. 
Not too bad you can't. You're my lawyer after all, aren't you? Got my case if he's to represent me. How's that sound? Oh, but you can't, Kenny. That would be the one thing I absolutely can't do. Mr. Kamaya, you wouldn't want to test the killer. He's a man of his words, so I hear. Getting up, getting a certain friend of yours rubbed out, uh, out if you lose. You, you scoundrel. Where were you, Mr. Wright? Uh, Squire. I think I could give you a, you a mile tomorrow. Everyone likes a happy win-win resolution. I'll get you for this. Cliché phrase. This is the one said something just like that, if my memory serves. Of course, well, all things turned out for him, didn't they? Good night, Mr. Lawyer. Maya. Alright, what am I supposed to do? Man. Now? Oh, you finally found it. The starting line of this case. That's worth I don't care for hard aspirin for you now. Let's return to the precinct. Try second police station, criminal record, first department. Right, what are you gonna do if you're planning on obtaining a strategy? No, well, we can't deal with that. That's right, he's holding my hostage. Well, what should I do? Not something I could answer for you. That's worth Right, only, only you could decide where to go from here. When you go at the time, I truly didn't understand what the prosecutor was. That's why I had to leave the prosecutor's office. I felt I couldn't, I couldn't stand the, the court of law until I knew what a prosecutor really was. Alright, it's your turn. My turn? What's it called a lawyer? What can you do as one? Find the answer. You must find it on your own. I'm a lawyer. The fight for someone who clearly is a killer. Man, God, that man is really, uh, doesn't matter who very, every person deserves a proper defense in a fair trial. Is that right? The basis of a judicial system? Proper defense? But what exactly is that? Is that a lawyer forcibly, is, is that, is that where for, well, a lawyer forcibly blindly get to the quill through its shouting and trickery? Is that ironic of all, you, you of all people to say such a thing? How you fought for your clients up to now? Ugh. That might be true, but that's, that's, that's because I believe my clients are being said from the bottom of my heart. If I were to get a guard that quilled, and quilled that, that isn't the proper defense at all. I became a lawyer because I thought, I thought I could save people from suffering and pain. But, I look at this mess I can't even protect the person close to me. If I win this case, I still lose in the end. I don't know what to do. Right? You get a hold of yourself, out. you have it all wrong. Huh? This is, we got some time I accuse of only human to you and I. You want to save someone? That's something easier said than done, though, would you say? That's you're a defense attorney. You can't run away from that. You only fight. That's all you can do. But people like you, Francis or Von Karma, are always using all just pin me down. Fight the very end when you when they, when you know the truth is not what you do. But I'm not like you. I can't fight for a false verdict for a man that clearly know to be guilty. Cheska, she fights for herself. The only thing she fights for is a perfect win record. That's all. Isn't that the same with you? Is that why you ran away a year ago? Your perfect record was destroyed. You're so pity. Let's see. I don't understand why you despise me so. Every year I'm mistaken. What do you, thanks to you when you sealed my, off my path to a perfect win record. That was the error of my ways. 
Or is that thing such a perfect record would mean all this? What? I don't believe you. Are you saying that is why you left the prosecutor's office? You know, why why are you here now? And so that is something you will find on your own. I pray that you will see it before the verdict is right tomorrow. Yeah, then you will be powerless to change the ending of the story. Beep beep. Mr. Nick, the transceiver. I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Oh, down then, Mr. Attorney, do you wait till you can take the call tomorrow? My, my, what is this? What's the matter, Mr. Attorney? That's his usual anger this time. Tell me, please. Why are you holding my hostage for, for some guard's sake? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this for that full blooded killer? Alright. Please don't misunderstand things. He's my client. The time a man who hides assassins is just a just a killer of himself. Of himself. I believe you're asking me for a reason why why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. As what they call my Ethica. What the heck is Ethica? My name carries a certain amount of honor and dignity. Uh, Mr. Tony, I take great care to sure there was no falls upon. On the great, so it's called the Great Relations as part of Assassin's Duty. Assassin's Duty? We're unlucky this time. My, my client was arrested as a suspect. So I did what I had to do as a list of expected help, Mr. Attorney. Sure that you would do anything in your power at the very end. What is your name? I've been to you once before, ever. You did, but my name is the Killer. Shelly the Killer. You're Shelly the Killer? Please keep in mind you do not have much space to maneuver with me. As the killer, I always finish what I set out to do. Fail to keep up your end of the bargain? Maya! It would be my duty as an assassin to see you she receives a nice long nap. Oh no! And if you excuse me, uh, I'm gonna trace this signal back to me, it would be scratches of the thumb. Yo. Sigmaya, Mr. Sigmaya. I don't know what to say, Edward. Mm. Did you hear that at the end of that transmission? Oh, that it sounded like a cat. A cat? It can't be. That cat, can it? What is it? I think I know where Shelly the Killer is holding Maya hostage. Edward, do I have the police head for him? And guards mansion immediately. Are you hurry over there as well then? Let's hope you have problems. The fight has only just begun. The battle just begun. Only just begun to live. Bye. Put that to the Mystic Maya. So they're completely surround us. No way for him to escape. So we still in the area. Can't believe it, that butler. Time is the killer. Got to working together all this time. Got to work together the contingency plan at a time. Figuring of a bear. Well, that cuts in it for some reason. One Maya saw. Bear, isn't it? More of a thing for Mr. Karina? Would something like this be here? Alright, look down. There's a little pet door installed here. I'm sure that's for shoe. Uh, this is came through the little door. Uh, the door, it's locked. I'm pretty used to breaking down the doors by now. Let's go, it's worth. There's no one here. Looks at this room. I would say this is on God's private lounge. Look at this, right? Antenna for setting it. They're seeing radio signals and a VCR. Check inside the death. There's a tape. It would be important to have a piece of evidence. We we're lucky I'll have the moment the crime was committed in court on it. I'm sorry, but the tape deck is empty. The tape they found. No. 
Looks like that someone used to record something. Someone took the tape we were looking for and escaped with it. It's all over, but it looks like it got away. My, oh man, it's so dead of our grasp of time. Now we've lost our little lead. Don't give up yet. The little girl is looking at the end of the rear pillar. Yeah, you're right. Close, I can tell. I right, set up a checkpoint so everyone, every route, yeah, this district, get the rest of us. Maya. Picture of Miss Impacts. With love, Celeste. Strikes me in the, the greatest form of manager. Why would a picture of Miss Impacts be in the Zen Guard's mansion? Say with love. This must be a clue. Ah. What's wrong, Pearls? Please let me see that picture frame. It's just special about the frame. The back of it. There's something written on the frame. Maya. Right, so let the methods. What? I thought you'd come. Me you would. Now listen up. You better get unguarded guilty sentence, okay? Get that creepy slime on that guilty, I'll never forgive you ever. Oh, my friends, don't worry. You don't worry. So much I wanted to write, but I don't want to think I have a lot. I don't think I have a lot of time left. Probably you are there too, right? Make sure you help Nick, okay? Someone's gotta watch out for the helpless hunk. Um, that's it for now, Nick. That's, I, no! I think Maya's up, right? Right? What's wrong? Why the blank stare? Oh, no. You search the whole house. It's the last room. It looks like you, you lose us. Edward. Yes. Could good, I think about. It's all like I'm about to get, going to get. I'm still short. One last thing. What's that? The last Psylocke. Sandra Psylocke. If I could find out what she's holding a secret, I could stand a chance in court tomorrow. The blood is case wide open and expose the truth. I know what you're thinking. I'll contact the census center. Um, thanks, Mr. Edgewood. Let's go, Pearls. It's time to open the last lock. Or 20 seconds to 10 to 7 for the room. Good evening, Mr. Wright. Could they have not changed the... I know, I know, this... Sticker for... It still looks daylight outside at the window. <laughs> I know they're using the same assets, but they could not have changed it. I mean, seriously. It's alright. What's wrong? You look ill. Miss Andrews? I've come to movie Psylocke. Psylocke? I want to know. You will tell me your secret. Fine, go ahead. Try and break me if you can. Can you please tell me why you're afraid it's not good for Mar? I told you countless times because I thought Matt was the killer. No, that's not it. I know you have a personal reason that's like it's not guard. Mr. Andrews, I think I, I you may think I, I didn't hear it, but I know you said something earlier. You said for friends. I think I was taking my friends out, Matt, and that's why. What an absurd idea. I don't have anything, I don't have anything I want to take revenge for. Mr. Andrews, I want to list by the pen on other people. There's something or someone in our past that would make your revenge. Celeste? The only one callous that caused such a strong feeling of your revenge. That's what impacts the suicide. What are you trying to say? 
This is one banter. On top of that, the one who created the assassin was the also one. So they have to do it, Matt. You're right, you haven't mentioned them yet. But for you to hate Mr. Ungard, you mentioned mean that he must have had some relations with impacts of suicide. Explain that to me, relations. This is the father of Miss Impact, correct? She's gonna know when she passed away, though. With love, Celeste. This is Miss Impact's handwriting, isn't it? Where did you find this? No, that's all right. It was a rhetorical question. Yeah, it is. Found it in Mr. Guard's mansion. After all this time, that's where any secrets have been revealed. Like successful. Celeste, she was supposed to get married to one. Guess by her dad, it didn't work out. Because Miss Karina didn't want to get married to her anymore, right? Yes, but because of Matt. Because of Matt, Mr. Angard, what do you mean? I can see where this is going. Celeste, she was Matt's manager a long time ago. She was the happiest woman in the world with them. I was working part-time back then and I often saw the two of them together. So that's why. With love, Celeste was written on the frame of the picture. They were a couple, weren't they? It was anything as blunt as that. Celeste was being used. It's hard to wait until she was thrown away. It's so horrible. Mr. the time is just built around how nice and wonderful of a man he is. The scandal that would have destroyed that. My Celeste and her kindness moved up over to one one of my studios. I she met one. She's really happy with them, even happier than when she was a man. Oh, it's such a good man that they were even planning to get married. And then it was suddenly called off. Night one called their marriage off, Celeste she killed herself. That that's why I freed Matt that it was revenge for Celeste and myself. That's why one called the wedding off, right? I confessed to one about his relationship with Celeste. Yeah, but that was years ago. Why would why would that why would what kind, you know what? I, I'm sorry. But if if Matt had a relationship with Celeste years ago, why would that, why would one give a shit? I was like, okay, what well, does it matter? That, that would, to me, it doesn't make any sense to me. To me, if, especially if you were like, if you were in a competition with another guy, especially if they were, which has been established in this game, wouldn't it sort of, want, if it was one position, especially where things were, one would say, hey, I've now bested um, that in a way that I, I've, that I've, in a way you could say, you know, hey, I'm, 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 I'm going to, I'm, I am happy in love. We're happy. I've in a relationship. I've gotten something done. That's, that's what the woman you couldn't do. And we're going to, we're going to get married. We're going to be happy, happy together. Something you could do. Something you could hold over, Matt. You know? I, I know that this sounds scummy, but that's sort of the competition they're in. So, why would he break it off? Doesn't even make it to me. That doesn't make any sense anyway. To me, it it just doesn't make any sense. See, that's what happened. But why would Creator have to call it the winning? I'm not saying at all. 
Probably because it's worth this mail price. That doesn't even make any sense. Again, if they were fierce rivals, one would fucking... Here's the thing, again, this is what doesn't make any sense. This exact opposite of a guy in the fierce rivals. He's got one up on that. He didn't even just take, he didn't even take Matt's girl. He's fucking gonna marry Matt's ex-girlfriend. I know it's sexist, but you know when you're, you're a super rival, you got two male buttheads. That's sort of a, you would think it'd be opposite, you know. I mean, again, again, not something I would, you know, be, <laughs> I mean, the thing I would be thinking. But when you're in sort of a, Fierce rival with this, you think it would be the opposite. Again, that's my point here. Alright, wait for the wedding and announcement, and then unleash the truth on Juan. It's aiming for when it would hurt Juan the most. Poor Miss Impacts. That was the end of it. That day, I'm almost certain Juan Celeste left the su suicide note. That note she left the detailed account of various, various misleading deeds. But she never again be hurt by Matt. She chose chose to die. Ag again, how stupid is one? If you're in a fish again, you got two guys, two idiots. Again, this is again, these are two idiot, two freaking guys who are really it's real stupid guys who are gonna who who make the rest of hard for the rest of us. Only the rest of the male's population in in the game. We have fierce rivalry. Fierce in every way. But wouldn't one would say, hey, I've won up to you and I've, I've done the one thing you weren't able to? Done something you weren't able to? Have a relationship with this woman and say you won up to her getting married to her i mean to me that to me it would make more sense the other way I, uh, maybe i'm off track maybe i'm thinking it wrong but to me one the stumping her for that reason doesn't make any sense to me why then uh, what one said in a, in a note but why would he do that it's simple one realized that the note was powerful weapon against matt be especially dangle damaging to his pressing his spring image in any case, with this pride heart, one sort of friends. Friends, does that word again? But publicly disclose the contents of the suicide note. At a time that will cause the Matt, Matt the most damage, of course. That was at the press conference after the stage show. And that was all because I heard it from one. To find out all about this, I drew close to one to begin with. Quite a pair of hideous monsters, aren't they? So let's just with something that, for them to use in their game. That's why I found one's body. Again, one wasn't a great one doesn't seem like a great guy. Again. But he does seem like an idiot. That's why I found one's body. It was only natural that I thought the murderer was Matt. Two were spying on one another after all. Springer frantically searched for Celeste's suicide note. I want to destroy it before it went public. I was going to burn it. I, I, I had even bought a lighter. But I couldn't find the suicide note. That's when I ran across my mind. I was going to bring, bring my own kind of cruel friends. Plus, was killed by those two monsters. I stabbed on his body with that knife and didn't feel a single shred of guilt. And that's all I have to say. Well, Mr. Wright, even knowing all this, are you going to still help that man? I'm a lawyer. I see. I'm a foul profession. Take a risk for your time talking to me. There's no big deal. I couldn't sleep anyway. I can't sleep either. That would buy a situation when I know now. To be continued. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Again, I hate, again, harping on it, but it's just, again, it's just, and we'll get in a little, we'll get into something that was stupider tomorrow, I will come up to tomorrow's trail.
Girl, how did I get into this? this? Far enough. You can't run forever. The thing's right. What, what have I done wrong? I can allow you to go on like this. Uh, but I'm just a simple defense attorney. Silence. You're no longer worthy of your title. Which is sort of ironic because after I've had this dream before someplace some time ago. This is a day written in my destiny. Today I'll stand in the courtroom as a lawyer to prove a killer in this <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be if an egg. <laughs> I'll pick up where we left off for tomorrow and finish this case off in the game. Um, I, I, again, I'm, I'm not. But yeah, you can see it's like at the end, it's like they're trying to make him want like an asshole because he does seem like he. Again, the rivalry is. But here's the thing. Here's the thing again, that's such a fierce rivalry. Again, as I said, what do you want to say? Hey, look, look, I got your girl. I won the girl. I got the girl. I am the one that won. I am the one that is getting married. So right now, like, wouldn't that be more of an incentive? Instead of incentive, it sort of rivals that way. I mean, like, again, that's. I can, I, 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 I see that sort of like, I understand it's sort of like some guys don't like it, it depending on the rival, but it's sort of, it's just when they're like somebody else's girlfriend, they're like, they're like, yeah, it's like, yeah, but this is such a fierce rivalry between them that we've established how far they've gone before we're in this case, as this case gone along, we've established that, we've it's gone on that that you think one would do the opposite like like I said would 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 want actually be proud of that not 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 you know you know like break it off as they say hey man I got one up on the guy you know you know it's, I understand why some people would be the other way but this is not, this is a case where you would think the opposite would be the true. Or the opposite would be the, or the opposite because of how fierce the rivalry and how things are played out between the two characters. You, you understand what I mean? But that's what I'm trying to get at is I can understand that, but I can understand usually in a really simple like that, but when it's there's a difference when it comes to a situation like that we've established that the game is established for so long during this case that the rivalry between these two that would make it sort of odd that they would do that and it was before this it was before they've been going they've been long rivals before they were nickel samurai before they were you know so that rivalry was again was part of the reason he broke up so that round was going on long before they him and Celeste were a thing one of the Celeste were things so that would have been you know they would have been that way at that point too so it wasn't like anything had changed it, it was like all of a sudden the last three years it was more a thing at least that's what the game had presented it as I don't know maybe it's just Again, badly written. We'll get in a little bit weirdly written with tomorrow's part. We'll get into that. That 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 that's. We'll get into that. We'll really get into that one. Uh, I talked about this the other day. I said, "Oh, this is the case." I remember this is the case where the cat. I, and then there's somebody who played this game and literally threw his controller down and said, "I'm done. I'm done." Got up and walked away. Came back and finished the case. 
but was frustrated <laughs> because of something so stupid. We'll get into that tomorrow, but to me, again, it's just sometimes again, I love the series. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to put it down. It's just the stupid shit like that. Like you can, you go like, wait, what? At least you're like questioning yourself. Like, wait, 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 wait. You just you established this whole thing, this whole game, this whole, this whole case, and it it's <laughs> you could have written it like different. Like, well, well, Juan found out that Matt was that the last that she had gone like had a one night stand, something else, anything else, anything else that you could have. You know, I mean, this, they broke up the wedding. They didn't even have the clue they broke up the wedding. You could have had that Matt, like, you know, said something that, like, that uh, Juan was just using her to get to him. You know, there could have been different ways you could have gotten to that point where the suicide, you know, that could have differently I, I mean I'm just thinking it I'm just thinking a little too much about this <laughs> but yeah that's gonna be it for today we're gonna be back tomorrow we are going to be finished Phoenix right justice for all tomorrow the last day of trial and then Sunday or I could eat the looks Monday will be next sorry for next play through the last Play through for September because probably gonna take a for September. Yeah, because the Kawami 2, that'll be on Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, only Wednesday, only the show 20. And Thursday, Marmark Mark 8, Deluxe Race, and Brigade to Kid, Thursday night. We're gonna get the Kawami and right back in next weekend. We can tell you guys to come on me too. So yeah, that's the upcoming schedule. The channel is here to follow, but we got lots of kids to come up. It's that we fix up face right just for all tomorrow. Next week, I guess it can go on me too. And we also got coming up. Uh, uh, next month, the Halloween of Thought 7, the Luigi's Mansion 3, Doom Eternal, Resident Evil 2, and all kinds of good stuff coming up. Latest year, including uh, Tales of This Area, uh, Six Road 3, and so much good stuff playing. So follow me on social media, so we're not live, not live, for your jeans here, and I'm getting the keys from the Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Speaking to subscribe to YouTube page, follow the playthroughs, past and feature, including uh, all the playthroughs of the Phoenix Wright series, the Agatha series, previous Halloween thons, and lots more. Good box, phase race, phase, phase, convention, phase, all kinds of good stuff. So got Discord to be doing with stuff out in the future. And if you want to cast out, there's a way to probably save your money. You want some vibes on YouTube? All things can find the information down below. And Mystic's not on yet, looks like. That's the lowest. They said tomorrow we're fishing just to fall. Next week, you guys will come on me too, so. Lots of good stuff to look forward to. So, yeah, until next time, I'm going to want to. Peace!